Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In our previous episode, we had a pretty good time actually. We went on two adventures, um, basically to bring back from the loss of our dear Ronin. Um, fortunately, Kronos, everyone's missing him, but we must move on. People have been doing okay. We brought in uh, Diane, our Vestal, and we brought in two new people that we'll get into the backstories of now. Here we are back in the cursed estate. We have two new people that we brought on. We did have some issues last time. Anguis taking on some very, very high stress there. Um, Ang Ang Anguis? Anugis? I, I cannot pronounce that for the life of me. Either way, yeah, some heavy stress there. Angela's still got a little stress, but everyone else seems to be doing fine. Everyone's getting along, uh, doing okay. Uh, but yes, we do have um, our Wraith. And we also have our Forsaken, so we'll get into those guys now. Here we have Harath, our Forsaken, and this is a backstory by Unstable Straith. Harath the Crimson, he'd been called a fierce warrior with no equals and a hero to all. They'd sung stories about him. Tall tales, sure, but still tales. He enjoyed the praise. They had given him an ego, some would have said. Harath had indulged further into the revel as his frame had grown. None of that mattered now, though. The ones who called him Crimson were no, were long dead. Those who sung the tales sung no more. Arath now realised how fleeting flame and glory were. What mattered was the generations you protected by destroying evil. A short but sweet backstory. I like how it goes into what he was in the past and the, the fame he'd made of himself. This guy is gonna be he's gonna be pretty uh, pretty amazing. Uh, he's got some really really good skills. We're gonna be going heavily into blight with him. Uh, I've also got a pull and a stun here. Although he does have the ability to activate a repose, which might end up being a little better for us. Um, and we have Heart Strike here, which um, heals himself. Of course, as you can see, many of his abilities have the chance to cause disease. Meaning he can be quite difficult to play. Uh, but I still think that he's uh, he's definitely someone we want to go with. I think I think we'll probably go for the, um, the repose, the Plague Carrier. Um, even though... Even though it's um, smart, slightly more dangerous, although I don't know, it's gonna mark him. Okay, let's go. With, let's let's stick with what we had. We'll go with Death Grip, and I think that's gonna be interesting to use. But he's definitely gonna be someone we want to take along with us pretty shortly. Forsaken is a really really good class. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have Kura, our Wraith. Kura, 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 our Wraith, and this is a backstory by DB Fan. Now this is a bit more of a bigger one, a bit of a longer one, but this is a really in depth story, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing as Kuro here. Um, Kuro was raised among assassins, taught their ways, but there was always a part of him, some voice that told him that killing was wrong and that, she, that he should help others. He pretended he didn't hear it and ignored it, accepting his lot in life, until he saw something that changed him. The art of Bushido and Samurai. Not only did Kuro instantly feel a connection to it, he could no longer ignore the voice in his head learning the way of the samurai and quickly mastering them. Kuro enjoyed it so much that I not only left his life as an assassin, he had also taken up teaching others the way of the samurai, until he met a student who changed his life forever. Akira was his name, and he was both charming and naturally skilled with a blade. Kuro couldn't help it and fell for him. Akira even recipro reciprocated the affection and Kuro couldn't be happier. Until one night, Kuro stumbled across Akira murdering his fellow students. Akira had been sent by an assassin to, um, to kill Kuro and his students as punishment for him leaving. Kuro and Akira fought, Kuro knocking the sword out of Akira's hand, but the voice inside him told him there was another way, as the good memories with Akira flooded his mind. It ended in Akira stabbing him in a panic, barely missing his heart. The voice in Kuro's head died that night, but Kuro lived on. Kuro took up his old assassin ways of striking enemies when they're most vulnerable, and even creating said vulnerabilities. He had even started to enjoy it. One day he received a letter from the heir offering money to help deal with the rabble around the hamlet. Accepting the job, not caring about the money, nor redemption. He simply enjoyed ending others' lives. Truly he had become the assassin the others always wanted him to be. So this is a, a dark turn for um, for Kuro here. He, he, he started off in, in a life of 
being an assassin and killing people without mercy and decided he didn't like it and um, got pulled straight back into it. Now, he has some great skills here. He has some max synergies and he's just got some really good damage. But what I really want to get him as is a full-on stunner. Um, you can actually get all three of these skills here to, have, to give him an a ton of stunning utility and i'd love to get those enabled he's a level zero right now so we're not going to be able to do that uh but that's that's the backstory for kira there i'm really looking forward to using him we do of course have many diary entries coming in here we have one from tea or t um someone new to the uh discord and to helping out writing uh this is a a, a journal entry or a diary entry from diane our vestal a test of my abilities on the same day of my arrival here. We fought against some monstrosities mentioned by the fishermen and sailmen near the curve. They resembled some horrific mix between man and fish, and they were quite deadly. Thankfully, I was there and quickly undid any harm directed at my allies or myself. Upon returning, I was pleased to learn that Renault was here in the hamlet. I had met him some time ago and mended his wounds. He seemed a bit restless. So that's just a little tidbit between Diane and... Um, and our our Crusader and all knowing each other from their past. It's gonna be interesting having those two work together. But we do have we do have something interesting today. We definitely have something interesting. We have the ability to go and do some bosses, which I'm I'm excited for. Um for some strange reason, my game has tabbed out. There you go. Um, we have some we have some interesting stuff to do here. Of course, um last time we played, we upgraded our um our experienced recruits i think from this point on we are not going to be taking on level zeros at all because we just we can't afford to anymore we do have a free weapon upgrade here and um, we should probably we should probably get on with that if we can uh, i think everyone's actually upgraded though for the most part but yes if we go to embark here uh, we have quite a lot to do we've got a siren to kill we've got the swine prince uh, we've got the soren prophet and i believe if I'm correct, we do have a setup to kill one of these bosses, so I'll be back with that in a moment. Okay, so we've got our group together. We're going in with Hammurabi, our leper, in the front position. Jonathan Baker, our flagellant, in position two. Nick, our jester, who we just recently took out. And Diane, who we um, got in the last episode. This is going to be to kill the Swine Prince. Now, the Swine Prince is a difficult boss. We are going to have some harder times against him. Um, I'm sure it's going to be difficult. We do need to give a little look at our camping skills as well and just see uh, just see what we've got here. Uh, remove disease is pretty useful for us here. Um, we, we need that one unlocked, really. Uh, I'd like to go. I'd like to go and get that unlocked. And let's have a little look. See, um, I think we have, yeah, we have for night, prevent nighttime ambush here. Let's quickly go and see about changing over some camping skills here. Um, if we sort by level, it should put our party to the top. Yeah. So Jonathan, we definitely want, uh, we definitely want this on Jonathan. Um, oh right, can we? We can select all three of these. We just need to unlock them. Um, and we just let's just have a little look at our other camping skills and see if there's anything else we really want. So that's fine. Um, that's okay. That's minus 20 stress. Oh, yeah, I definitely want that. I think that's just one that activates, yeah. Uh, Nick, how's Nick looking? So with Nick, we've got extra stress reduction, extra stress reduction, extra accuracy and crit. Um, do we want Tiger's Eye as well? I don't think we we need it, do we? Um, and then here, I think I think we're fine. Okay, I think that's I think that's decent for camping skills. This is going to be tough. Uh, I do believe this is a medium adventure. We're going to be getting the the Plague Doctor's Vial here, which is an accuracy increase for the Plague Doctor, a stun chance, a blight chance increase, but it is going to increase our stress. We also have um, an occultist one here for Rhine, uh, which is going to be extra damage, which is great, with a little bit extra stress, and we get our third Steady Bracer, which I'm genuinely not too sad about. Steady Bracers are pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm willing, for the most part, to take a dodge reduction for a, such a crazy high accuracy increase. Um, so having three of those isn't exactly a bad thing. It's very very rare we'll be using them all at the same time. So that's that's a little bit of a downside there. 
But still, I'm looking forward to uh, to getting in here and trying this out. Uh, this uh, was a suggestion from, I believe, Soft Roll. The idea is we get a big damage here from Hammurabi, our leper. Uh, we get the bleed, which isn't going to be too useful before the fight, but is going to be very, very useful uh, when we get to the fight. We got a Nick here almost exclusively for Battle Ballet and Inspiring Tune, um, as, as well as a toy of dodge because i've got um plus eight from trinkets by the way we'll go over the trinkets here we got our accuracy and crit here uh with our um slight chance to heal on hits uh this guy has a dodge this guy has extra protection a bit of stress reduction increase in accuracy um and then we have the slightly extra healing and a little bit of extra dodge there and that should help out nicely let's give this a go shall we let's give this a go I am I'm 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 slightly slightly worried, but at the same time we should be okay. Let's take a little bit more food than we think we need here. We'll go with 18. We'll take four shovels, two, two, two. In fact, I'm going to take one more of each of these. Normally, the bosses you don't have to. There was 16 of those. Normally, with the bosses you don't have to worry too much about. Um, we just got to check our skills here. Yeah, we're fine for skills, I think. Um, yeah, you don't have to worry too much, really, uh, about wandering around too much because you know where the boss is. The boss is always at the end. I'll show up for this. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. And then also we do have ourselves some more diary entries here. A one from Angela. Um, we have, this is by DB fan. The rumors of untold heresy about this hamlet were true. Horrible monsters that need to be purged by the light. But there's something more I can feel. Something otherworldly hunting is upon us in the dungeon just beyond the flicker of the torch. That is um, to do with the Shambler, apparently. I like the idea of that. Uh, and then we have one for later as well. But let's get right into this. I'm a little worried. I'm a little scared. Um, we need to be heading for the furthest location. So it'll be this room here. So we'll take we'll take this route straight away. Um, I believe this is just a looting opportunity. So we'll just take this now. There you go. I'll leave the next one, though. Um, just ready for... Uh... We'll farm it on you. Nice dodge there, Nick. Um, go for bleed on you. Yeah, um, we'll leave our next one just in case we get a stress reduction. Curio or something like that. Make sure we get a stress reduction. Ah, unfortunate there. Uh, so we do have slice off, which we can use from a distance. I kept that just for reasons like that. Um, and then we'll stun you out as well while we don't need to heal. And that's going to be good. Munch might give us a bit of blight there. Yeah, it's only a small bit though. We should be fine. No more stress dealt there, and we get another stab off. We'll go for that. Unfortunately, we missed out on that there. Um, I think I'm going to go for another stun. Actually, no, we're not. We're not. We're just going to go for judgment. Try and take some damage on you. Punish. These guys do have a bit higher bleed resist, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to bleed them. And Hammurabi going with the huge strike there and taking both of them out in one. But we'll keep, we'll keep this other... Um, holy water just ready but i am i am fairly experienced on how to kill the swine prince i know he has his little loyal subject wilbur that we do not want to attack in the slightest i've been told about him i've experienced him myself and apparently this group is very good for the swine prince himself so we shouldn't have too much resistance there which i'm definitely happy about uh, but as you can see we're making our way pretty easily here i probably oversupplied ourselves by quite a, a decent margin but you 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 don't really know what you're gonna get and i'd rather go with more than i would with less um i'd rather be more well prepared than under prepared so we are probably gonna take a little bit of stress here but that's exactly why nick is on our roster today uh nick volunteered himself to come out and help out with uh with his stress reduction. We'll go for a party heal here. Slight stress reduction as well. Um, and, oh, unfortunately he didn't miss. And he did indeed get a disease as well, which is a real shame. Uh, minus 10 maximum HP. Chance to become blighted during combat. Now, that is not good. Um, we can deal with stress later. I think we should just go for a stab right now. Um, and I think we go with Reign of Sorrows and try and take you out. Yeah, you're dead now. Good go with you nice one there Hammurabi and the heal as well and the stress heal 
get the tune there on you, reduce that stress a little bit. And party heal again. Lovely. That, that plus 15% healing bonus on Diane is going to be very useful. Um, we'll do, go with Hugh here because I want to destroy that body. It didn't quite work out. but So you're, you're on three bleed. You have six HP. This should finish you off. Yeah. Hooking where it hurts. Hooking where it hurts is a move that has a very high chance to uh, crit. So we do have to be worried about that. We do have some healing um, in in Jonathan as well. He does have his healing abilities on now, which is certainly a massive improvement. Certainly a big improvement here. Uh, we did get the surprise here. This is going to mean we can take out the stress dealers a little easier. Um, we'll go with that. A crit there from Nick. Beautiful. I think, oh, that, that almost kills him. So what, what we're going to do is we're just going to finish him off. That, well, that would very nearly kill him, but if it's not going to actually kill him, then we won't bother. And you've got 7 HP left. So we'll go for the Hue again. That will kill you. There you go. And oh, I'm loving this build. Thank you for the suggestion, Sofferall. This is obviously a very vanilla group of uh, group of characters here. The suggestions are a lot easier to make, but built around vanilla. Uh, there has been a sort of party suggestion type thing that we've been doing in my... Uh, in my Discord, but most players of the game know how to play the game with uh, the default heroes, so it's much easier to build up a comfortable group with those, and I, I completely understand that. So we're going to be having a few more vanilla groups, but that's fine. People are still going to be a bit form relationships and build together and things like that, so it works. We'll bring you a little closer. We're probably going to have to go for... Oh, another crit. Well done, Nick. Nick is really coming into his own. He had a, a bit of a bad time on his last adventure, but he's, he's, he's reeled back. He definitely has. And we'll go for the, the hue there and take out the bodies. We'll probably get another heal in here. No, we'll, we'll take the kill as we can get it. And we even got ourselves a Mana Arms relic here. Extra accuracy, extra debuff, but less speed. We can take that. And I think... I don't know what's best for us to throw away here. Um, probably bandages. I don't think... No, do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll blight off you, and then we'll take it like that. There you go. Um, and this is our boss right here. So let's just let's just camp. We have Prevent Nighttime Ambush, so let's just camp right here. That is the next room, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we'll camp here. Not particularly necessary, but still nice. Um, we'll go with that. Make sure everyone's stress is reduced. Uh, and basically, we're going to be able to buff everyone up here. Um, so... Is that remove one disease from self? Self only. Unfortunate there. I would like to get that disease off of Nick. It's not a great one at all. Um, so let's prevent nighttime ambush, first of all. And let's uh, give accuracy and dodge to our leper because he does struggle with accuracy. Um, minus 20 stress. Yeah, we'll go with that as well. And then we'll go with just two here for... Um, a stress reduction on Nick there. And everyone's feeling fresh. Ready for the morning. The match is struck. Okay. A blazing I'm... <sighs> I don't know how prepped I am for this, but we'll see. So let's see who's got the good trap to Sam here. 60, 50, 80. Okay, Nick. Come on. Thank you, Nick. Well done, well done. Get yourself a pack. Hey, got a journal here. I'm not going to read the journals, though. It takes up too much of our time. So, right, because we're going in here now, we're not going to be getting much else after this. I suppose I could go around here after killing the boss, and I probably will do that. Uh, so, we'll, we'll go in here and, and kill the boss without using this. Uh, so, we're all ready. The, th the one thing I think I need to do here is have Harvest instead of Dirk Stab, apparently. Apparently, that's going to be really good for us here. Um... I don't know if Harvest, Harvest will kill Wilbur. We might just want to be using um, Slice Off. We'll see. But they're going to be the ones that we want to use for now. And we'll try, try to open with a buff from uh, from him, his ballot. So, yes, Wilbur's back there. We definitely don't want to take him out. He is going to mark target, and that is going to be a pain. Uh, so, let's go with a buff first. Buffing crit and everything. So, we don't, want to we don't want to hit Wilbur. We just want to stack bleed on the boss. He does have a lot of health. Get some big damage. Hopefully, we can get some crits here with Hamura B. Um... Stun resist is pretty high. Let's just go with judgment and get some extra damage there. Unfortunately, we can't stun Will, but that would be nice. Um, of course, they're the big hits that we're going to be taking. They're the huge hits that we're going to be taking. Uh, we don't need any stress. Slice off. Does, is there any difference between these two? No, this one's better. Let's go with slice off. So we're going to need a big heal coming out on... Um, in fact, let's go with a, a restore here. That bleed isn't going to hurt us too much. 
We'll go with a big heal there. Taking 17 damage, we definitely need the full amount of restoration. And that is a huge crit there from Hammurabi. My god. Nice one. Hammurabi's still taking, still taking some heavy hits. He's still taking some heavy hits, but he has that regen ready for him. Um, get some more bleed stacked on you. 11 bleed for three rounds. And even slice off for some more there. Targeted heal again on Amurabi. He could definitely uh, hit Death's Door in one hit here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna heal him up rather than take the time to de deal the damage. Okay, good, good. That was definitely a good decision. We we'll, we'll keep getting marked here, but honestly, slice off stacking bleed is gonna be is gonna be the thing that does it for us here. I think we can we can bandage up here to stop him from dying, and we can go with reclaim, redeem. Sorry, uh, that's gonna heal. Um. Let's heal you. It's going to heal us both for a very big amount. And we'll go for... We'll go for a party heal here. Just to get the heal on both of those up front there. Which I'd, what I'd rather have. And I was hoping for another big crit there. But not quite. Obliterate masses. Nowhere near as much damage that time. I'm definitely happy about that one. Wilbur still thinks he's going to do this here. But I think one tick of bleed on you and, and you're done. There you go. Another big crit to finish it off, Murby. Very nice, very nice. And then let's uh, let's take out Wilbur here. Your master's gone, but what are you going to do? You're going to try and stun us all. No stress on anyone, so that's all I can do, really. Smack you. And 11. Ooh, Wilbur, you're going down. Oh, beautiful. We get ourselves um, a very nice Highlight Trinket and a Dodge Stone. Um, I will definitely take the take all of this, actually. We'll, we'll get rid of the bandages. And we'll continue adventuring. Our our guys are, are, are well-versed here. I think, I think we have the ability to continue on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He resisted the stun as well. This is a, this is a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> oh my god, I decide to continue. And this is what I get for it. Oh, nice. Nice hit there. This is what I get for it. My god. So we want to be stacking bleed on him. He does have decent bl bleed resist. Not anymore, he doesn't. But uh, What's his stun? 50% chance. Let's just go for the party heal. Keep everyone topped up. But for those of you that don't know, the collector... He's, he's, he's difficult. He's certainly difficult, but we can we can do it. Having a, having our Vestal marked there is not good. Um, you, you've got bleed on your... We've got a higher chance of killing you. We've got a crit anyway, so that worked, really worked out for us here. He's going to collect his call in a moment as well. We definitely need that... Uh, we definitely need that build up on him now. Right, crit. Oh, I really needed that crit there. Punish. We're going to need that AoE heal coming in. Nice one. Big heals there. As if we get the collector. Collector's call, bringing more of them. These are the collector's heads of all the people that are with us. Well, not with us right now, but that we have in our uh, roster. It's difficult. Certainly difficult. So we can't reach him now, which is a real shame. Um, slice off. We're just going to buff everyone, I think. I think it's going to be better. Do we have any bandages? We just threw them all away, didn't we? That was a real shame. Real shame. We're just going to have to keep stacking damage and hope we can kill him. He's got 30 health left. Um, right. I'm going to go for you. Oh, I needed a big hit there. He can heal. 50% damage for four rounds. Death's door for, um, for Vestal here. Diane. No. Oh, that is a crushing blow, that. That is, that is terrible. Oh, that is really terrible. Not good at all. Oh, my God. So the collector's gone. Oh, if we hadn't, I got rid of those bandages. People do not like to resist death blows, do they? Right. Get rid of all of these and just go. Oh. Oh, my God. We had to get the collector there, didn't we? 
Diane, how soon you've gone. What an unfortunate, what an unfortunate moment. You will know the tragic extent of my failure. Another death is just, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Um, I think Ryan is, Ryan's good. He does have the uh, disease though, so we will be swapping him out, I think. Um, and we do have a snake charmer that we're bringing in as well. So let's have a little look, see here. Um, stress healing, that's fine. Yep. Yeah, okay. So we're taking on. We're taking on. Um, you here. So let's make sure your name is right. Oh my God! I'm. Ryan. Hawthorne. Okay. And the skills we go with this one. And these back two. I don't know. I think, I think we're probably better off going with uh, going with this and this. These ones are better. Um, but yeah, there you go. We'll, we'll take on Ryan here as a level two and swap him out. So Ryan's been upgraded. Um, our our apostate we can definitely trade out because she has that as well. But she also has like some really really bad skills. So we'll trade out our apostate as well for a different level one apostate. Um, right. Sophia's getting traded out. Oh, my god, I can't believe it. Sophia, that's another great source of healing gone, which is just, just typical, isn't it? So, dismiss original Sophia, swapping her out. And we also have a snake charmer too, which we'll be taking on as a new hero for later on. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do we have a keeper? We do have a keeper in Mary. I don't want to take on level zeros for now, to be honest. I know that... <sighs> I'm very tempted to take on this man at arms, because man at arms is very, very good. Yes, we will, we will. We'll, we'll go and do a low level adventure and we'll take on a man at arms. I'll be back with the backstories for these guys in a moment. Here we are with our snake charmer, Verona. And this is a backstory by TAE, or T. Uh, again, another one of the new writers. Verona was a traveling performer, showing off her skills as a snake charmer in small towns and villages and doing odd jobs to make sure she had enough to survive. Of course, that isn't all there is to it. She is a refugee, her hometown burnt to the ground by a ruthless band of brigands. She and a few others survived, but she lost all her friends and family in the raid. Out of desperation, she turned to the occult. With a stolen term and an ancient artifact and a blood sacrifice, she had reincarnated, reincarnated some of those she'd lost in the form of snakes. It wasn't enough, they wanted their bodies back and they made sure Verona knew it. She travelled to a small hamlet, a central point of ancient evils and corruption, certain that she will find the knowledge and relics needed to restore what she had lost. Beautiful backstory there. Verona's going to be a great addition. Snake Charmer has some beautiful moves. Really, really, really cool moves. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to messing around with Verona. Uh, and next up we have our Man at Arms. Here's our Man at Arms, Bethold? 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 Uh, again, another name that I can't pronounce. Beth Alt. Beth Alt. Um, okay, so this is uh, by Friendly Shep. He was almost dead. He should have been dead, and yet he wasn't. That beast had savaged him beyond repair, and yet he was still living. Nevertheless, he was alive, and he had to make something of it. He had to know if Rune had survived. So you might remember that Rune spoke of a group that he was with that were that he and he'd been having visions of this beast i believe it was actually the swine king maybe uh, he'd been having visions of this beast and it came along and destroyed destroyed his uh his town his camp and killed everyone he was with or so he thought bethold here is a survivor of rune's group and them two are gonna reunite and meet up which is gonna be great i'm so sad that we lost diane i'm so sad it's it's just it's one of those things it happened we can't do anything about it really it just yeah it happened but it's just it's so sad to see everything was going so well 
But all it takes, all it takes is the collector. <laughs> all it takes is the collector to, to, to ruin us. Absolutely ruin us. We came out with a good amount of gold though. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna try and level up some of our lower levels here. Let's see what missions we have available to us. We kill Siren. Uh, extra healing ability. Extra bleed cure chance, but less damage. And oh, that is genuinely amazing. Uh, Alchemist has got extra um, extra healing versus bleeding. Extra damage versus bleeding on en on any skill he can cause bleeding. Uh, we also have an abomination, which I think we already have the padlocks. Yeah, we do. Uh, so that that would be great, but we'd have to go and kill a siren to do that. And I am not prepared to do that. We also have the um, Sauron Prophet, which is giving the legendary bracer. Interesting. The uh, Forsaken only um, Amber Intaglio and a Succubus one. There, that's, they're, they're all they're all very interesting. But again, I'm not going to go ahead and do bosses without preparing first we've also got the wise and hag as well we have a lot of bosses to go ahead and uh to go ahead and look into here That's certainly a possibility we actually have this uh this available to us here but i think we'll go on a short mission just to level level up some stuff here uh so let's get let's grab our level zeros we're going back to the warrens um so we've got cura in the front line he's going to be dealing Good amount of damage versus bleeding and marked. Um, and we do have the ability to bleed with his guillotine here. Always crits when targets are below 25% HP. That's a good way of getting some consistent stress healing, which is nice. Uh, but we're mainly going to be using him for his mark synergy. Um, as well as his uh, chain gang here, which is going to be very, very useful. Because I do believe chain gang stuns two targets at once. With a base chance of 100. Very, very nice. We also have method here he's got his crush which we're going to be using from the second po uh, position he has um retribution which is going to be his repost um command which is going to buff targets with extra accuracy and crit uh and then we've also got the holst which the holster bolster bolster that's the one uh which is going to grant dodge and stress reduction which is really good uh and i think i think while we're here we'll uh we'll take out some of the some of the newer ones as well so let's see who's who's not really been out Lucas, he's not really been out too much. We'll have a look what we can do with Lucas. Um, we've got some interesting skills with him here. He's going to be uh, kind of more backline, so we probably want to take off these two and instead go for these two. While these aren't great, um, it's going to reduce stress but cause stun on himself but with a pretty high chance. We also have this here. Refresh uh, use pair battle limits skills. Um, so he has two pair battle it's going to reduce stress by four on himself, buff himself for stress healing and um, and healing itself, and buff the party with plus three crit, enhanced healing and stress skills next turn only. Refresh hypnosis, can't target self. Interesting. So we've got, we got some cool stuff here. We've got some cool stuff. I think, I think this is going to be... Really, really good here. Um, unfortunately, the only party-wide stress heal we have is Nitrous Oxide here. And he doesn't have the, the, the largest stun resist. 94 chance with a 50 resist is, isn't is great. Uh, and then we're going to round up our back line with... Maybe with Linus. Uh, Linus would be an interesting back liner. Um, trying to think of anyone else. Yeah, let's go with Linus as our as our backline here. He's not been out much, and let's get everyone um, trinketed up. So, front line here, where we're going to be getting most of our damage from. Let's go with you. Don't have much dodge, so we can put that on you, risk free essentially. Um, and I think that pairs very very well with the slime jar for the um, pretty much guaranteed healing on you. Uh, here we can go with our extra accuracy and debuff skill chance and on top of that what should we go with on top of that like that, that this is one that could pair well with a few different things um i think we're probably going to put survival guide on linus that makes the most sense um we could go with extra dodge this is a very difficult one to choose actually let's just go with the oh, i don't know we, our speed is already low I think it's fine for us to just lower our speed for even more accuracy. We don't need the speed super, like, like we don't need it a lot. We don't need it tons, so I'm fine with that. 
Um, and then here, I'm not exactly sure what we want to go with with our second trinket here. We'll probably just go with the um, the max protection. We don't have any stun resist trinkets. And then here, we're going to go with the obvious accuracy increase for the quite slight less dodge. And we're going to go with the survival guide for a little bit extra scouting chance as well as the... Uh, as well as the trap disarm. Obviously, his trap disarm is amazing. And we get extra 10% chance of surprise. Very nice. Let's make sure no one's got anything they need to hold. Uh, nope. We're good. We're good. Um, and I think that's going to be a good way to, to go out and do a little short battle here. So, let's uh, let's head out with these guys and see how they perform. I'm interested to see how these guys work together. So, we're only going to need 14 food, 3 of those, 2 of everything else. And... 12 torches that'll do us in we go make some money build ourselves up oh my god uh, we do have another diary entry here from renault i can feel the crusades influence stronger here than anywhere else we have some real heroes some more brave than others but our job here shall be successful bit of a uh, bit of sort of helping everyone feel a bit more uh useful and a bit more like this can actually work right so we've got a complete 100 cent room battle so we've got to go across here of course linus on the trap disarm he has an insane chance to disarm we do have two level ones here is there anything we want to get rid of here took it out that's not too bad um that's not too bad that's not too bad and we'll probably go with that on you the burn out there is not great so that should hopefully get rid of that it didn't get rid of Burnout, but it did get rid of the other one. Still decent. Right. Here we go. We could go, go with some stress here. Of course, Linus getting a slight extra surprise chance, which is always nice. Um, I think I'm going to go with, uh, with Nitrous Oxide here. Or should I go with this? Um, yeah, let's go with this. And buff everyone. We could go with some armor breaking, which would pierce protection on the front line of here. Or we could try to go for the kill. There is a chance that we get the kill here. Our damage is, is very up and down. Let's go for it, though. So close. We can finish him off, though. I would have liked to have struck another target there, but I'll go for that. Nice slime heal there. We are going to get marked here and a slight dodge reduction. I said a slight, pretty huge dodge reduction. Shouldn't be too big for us. Ooh, unfortunately, we're taking the stress on. We're taking the crit on. We'll just go for the party-wide heal here. And there's a crit on Kuro already. Very nice. And, yeah, we'll finish you off. We're going to have to clear out some bodies here. I don't think we have any skills that can clear bodies, to be honest. But Luca's here. Doing great with his doggies. Love his dogs. And come on, then. I I'm going to have a real hard time pronouncing this name. Berthold? Berthold. Right. Uh, Berthold, we're going we're gonna to apply redistribution get a, a repost here going and you don't have any protection so we'll just go for another strike and wow linus that's amazing that is amazing that's buffing your dodge back up for what you've lost that's that's great to see we will go for the stress heal see how this works this isn't in, indeed stunned us <coughs> we miss a turn but should be okay go for a body get a crit there and a heal from slime as well we'll finish you off and we can probably get rid of uh, the rest of that blight on you there good good okay we'll make our way across over to this one now okay i think using that stress heal right at the end of combat is going to be probably the best idea for us okay into combat straight away spiders do have pretty high dodge can be difficult to hit i'm glad we get our uh get ourselves situated first we'll go for the party heal to start Um, can we kill one of these in one hit? We can. Ah, oh, we, we rolled on the lower end there. We'll try and go for a kill. And Linus, can you can you pull out a shot here? He can. Well done. Linus is brilliant. He has He's very accurate with that uh, blunderbuss there. Uh, we, well, I don't think we can clear Blight. We can clear Blight at a small chance. Let's try that. Unfortunately, we didn't quite clear it. We should be over with combat here. Nice one. Well done, Kuro. He's very, really proving his worth as an assassin right now. Getting a lot of kills here. Yeah, are going to get a food check. But everyone's looking so uh, pretty good so far. Pretty good. They have a fight here again. These guys can crit. Nice surprise. Linus is truly helping out so much here. Um, 
Motivational Hypnosis, we'll go with that again. Buffing that healing and stress healing is, is very valuable. Oh, and an instant kill there, Linus. You are so valuable. And we can't kill this guy, so we're going to just activate our post. Not being able to kill him means there's not much point in in uh, going for the normal hit. Repurse is much more valuable. We're going to take some Blight here. Probably going to stack another le level of Blight. Yep. <sighs> go for the Repurse. Ooh, that is a huge crit there. An absolutely huge crit. We'll go for the singular heal. I am not happy about that. They do not like him. I have to say they do not like him. Let's get another one of these going. We have to take out our body here, which is a shame. We could have gone for the stun, to be honest, but I didn't. Um, probably should have gone for the heal on you, to be honest, considering. Um, but the way it's gone, unfortunately, right. We really don't want to get hit on you again. Um, let's just go for the party heal, because we're not getting much less of a heal. I'd rather heal everyone up. Wow, these are, these are really, really not going well for us. Right. I'm going to take two food here. Get some scouting chance. Straight into combat again. <sighs> How much blight do you have? One more round. Okay, that's fine. Okay, please, please, please don't lose someone else today. Okay, surprised again is really helping us out. Let's go for the, the heal straight away there. And stress dealer. <sighs> Always one off. Um, I'm going to go for the mark on you and set you up for us for later. And let's buff everyone with some dodge, shall we? Damn, didn't quite pull off there, but a stress, luckily, is not great. It's not too bad. Oh, and there's another big hit coming in. These guys are um, ill-prepared, to say the least. That blight resist is impeccable there. Stress is not good. Oh my god, please no. Please no. Please no. Right, go for the extra damage there. This is... Oh, Linus getting the stun there. Oh, this is this is not going great. I thought this crew could handle it. It is obvious they, they, they cannot. Oh, nice, go for another... We're going to have to keep going for the party heals, even though you uh, Lucas needs it a lot. We're taking some stress. The blight is insane. This party does... Oh, my God. This party does not like getting blighted. They cannot resist. Okay. No stress. Oh, for... Thanks for the dodge there, Linus. We needed that. And there's a big crit from Kuro there. And a crit heal as well. Right. Keep going here. This is, this is just, oh, nice crit again there, beautiful. Less stress taking on there. We will go for this because it's going to go for your protection. It's also going to lower your protection. Keep on with the heals, guys. Keep on with the heals. Oh, don't crit, thank God. Wow. This is bad. Double Dark Wraith here. Um, double Dark Wraith trinkets. And we can leave right now. Okay, that is that is very good for us. Um, I think we should go for some stress reduction here. Um, we can get rid of we can get rid of those. Right, we should go with some stress reduction here because we have a lot of cur curios here that we don't need. Like, let's have a look, look here. One hundred and forty percent, nice. Okay, that doesn't do anything for us. We just got rid of those anyways. Scouting. There is combat that way, so let's dip in here, see what we have. Some bandages on that. Get some of that going. Hop back through here. Back up this way. And if we see combat, we just we just dip. Linus can always get rid of these traps. There's just no chance that he won't, so that's great. Oh, And check out these curios as well. Books and a torch. That'll do us. Quest complete. Okay. We took a bit of stress on there, but we did okay. Everyone's doing alright. Berthold, 
It's getting fear of hell beasts. And inaccurate. Random target chance 10% of the time. I don't mind that. I don't mind. Random target chance can be a problem on certain missions, but for the most part, it's not too bad. And let's see, are we, are we taking anyone else on? Um, Hammurabi, do we want to trade anything out? Extra stress versus humans. You're getting extra scouting chance. What do you have? Uh, extra against beasts. Fascinated with corpses. Minus healing. Oh, yeah, we, we definitely don't want that. Okay, we can we can leave you. And we do have a jester here, which we could maybe swap for Nick. So Nick does have a disease. Let's see. So Nick has this. Minus 10 accuracy after the first round, which is terrible. And he has sometimes attack allies. Whereas we have less speed, which isn't great. Um, plus 5 stress when an attack misses. Wow. Oh my god. I think... I think what we do is... We take on, we take on this one here. Let me change the color to red. At the end. We make you, make you Nick and we get rid of Perfectionist. That's not how you spell Nick. Right, there you go. Done a lot of trade outs today, but I'm, I'm happy with it. Right, Nick, you can go. Definitely take that off you first, though. I should have checked everyone else first before I did this. I didn't I didn't actually check anyone, did I? Right, you're new Nick. What? He does have some of these good ones here. What the hell was that? What the? One moment, what the hell? What's happening? Um, I'm in the middle of recording a video. What's happening with you? What chat am I in right now? Huh? What the hell? What's going on here? Why am I in here? Oh my god. Okay, well that was odd. Hey Nick. <laughs> this is so weird that I'm uh, literally I'm creating a character called Nick and then a guy called Nick just joins the call. Why was I in that call? Why was I in that call? What happened there? That was very <laughs> that was very strange. I'm gonna leave that in, that's funny. Either way, so we're going to go get rid of this Nick. Unfortunately, he does have some good stuff here, like scouting chance, but these are these are so bad. So goodbye to this Nick. Hello to this Nick. Um, and we do have a Slayer and a Monk. I think we'll take on a Monk. Yeah, we'll take on a Monk. We'll leave the Slayer for now. And there you go. Right. Let's uh, go into our ward here, and I want I want uh, Nick here to. Where's Nick gone? I've lost Nick. There he is. Let's get rid of perfectionist. It's a bit pricey, but it needs it needs to be gone. Let's have a little look. Do we need to do anything with anyone else? Uh, Beastmaster. No corpse required. Um, ravenous can consume plants. That's really interesting. I mean, that's pricey as hell, but that's interesting. It's really interesting. Um, do we want to upgrade this, or do we want to go for some upgrades elsewhere? I think we should go for upgrades here and here. The one there. And then one here. We can do some trading here. Uh, so how many do we need? We need nine, so we can just trade. We can just trade these and get uh, reduced costs here on both of these. It's going to help out a lot. Hero weapon and armor grade reduced cost. Nice one. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's episode. I think. Well, that was a hell of an episode. God damn, that was uh, that was a bit crazy. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And even if we did lose someone again, but it's it's, it's getting to the point where it's going to start happening. It's going to be getting more and more regular. Let's uh, first of all make sure that everyone's uh, taking their trinkets off. Because I don't think they have. No, they haven't. Right, let's just reorganize sort by level. Make sure everyone's got their trinkets off before we go. I don't want to forget that they're on there. 
You can keep that one because you're a man of arms. Okay, right. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I will see you guys in the next one.